Well, 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 hello everybody, good evening, welcome to a, a live episode of Scratch Cards from the National Lottery and tonight it is a special edition, live episode of Scratch Cards from the National Lottery, the first ever live special edition episode, unless of course you were with last week where unfortunately I had to scrap the episode. Um, but we won't go there. <laughs> so, welcome everybody to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. It's just gone 8 o'clock on this Monday, the 8th of April here in the UK. Um, yes, welcome. I'm going to give it a few minutes. Let some of you come along to the chat. Come along, give you a chance to get here. Um, Yes, welcome to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. I'm going to get myself ready whilst we wait for some people to come along. I'm going to take a look at our chat in a second. And then we shall do it all over again tonight, completely identical to last week. The only difference today is that this episode will indeed stay on YouTube Yes. So, yes. I'll give it a few minutes. I need to tidy myself up. Oh, gosh. Coins clacking about. Wowzers, we've got a few people in the room already. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so, so much for being here tonight. Um... Oh, I've just had a notification. Set for life is just about to be drawn. So best of luck to every single one of you out there today that has got a set for life ticket. Don't uh, don't spoil the numbers for me, please. I would prefer to uh, discover the results afterwards. But yes, best of luck if you are uh, playing set for life tonight we can all have a bit of hope and dream can't we Ten thousand pounds every month for 30 years um yes best of luck right who's here today who's come to see me right hello to andrew luke joanne diana um paul hello welcome jamie matthew Jonathan Marks, hello, welcome. Jeffrey, Jerry, hello. Feel free to ask that question again to me, Jerry, later on once we've started the episode. And I shall uh, answer it in a more, <laughs> more me type way rather than uh, going absolutely insane like last week. Uh, but we won't, uh, we won't reminisce on last week's episode. I don't regret any of what I said last week. Uh, let me make that perfectly clear. However, uh, for an episode like this, absolutely not what I want to be uh, talking about forever and ever on one of my uh, episodes. So, yes, thank you so, so much for coming along. We've got 40 people in the room already. Thank you so, so much for coming along to this special edition live episode of Scratch Cards from the National Lottery. Thank you so, so much, Karen. Hello. Welcome to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. Um, no, that won't be happening today, Jonathan. <laughs> and uh, Karen's already uh, said where she's from, I think. Is that where you're from? Uh, but I'm going to ask everybody, as I always like to do in these live episodes, as you know, I love to find out where my viewers are tuning in from tonight where in the world you're from if you're in the usa i believe parts of the us are experiencing a once in a lifetime total eclipse today so uh, i'm sure you've got your eyes focused on the total eclipse that's about to take place across the us uh, i'd be doing exactly the same so yes enjoy that where's everybody from tonight i know uh, my viewers do extend beyond uh the borders of the United Kingdom. Where's everybody from? Right, Jonathan is from Manchester. Paul is from Scarborough in North Yorkshire. Diana is from Essex. Have you got the accent, Diana? <laughs> uh, Matthew is from Wokingham. I hope I've said that correctly. Shona is from Belfast. Hello, Shona. 
Pontypool, South Wales, Andrew is from there. Shane, hello, Shane, welcome. Shane is from Pontypool as well. Do you know each, do you know each other, uh, Andrew and Shane? Um, stranger things have happened, I've always said. It's a very small world, isn't it? Hello, Tom, welcome. One of my moderators has just arrived. Tom is a very, very busy man, so I really appreciate Tom being here again tonight. I promise, Tom, we won't go, we won't last as long as last week. Uh, Maureen, hello, you're from Somerset. Robert is from Mablethorpe. Jamie is from Watton in Norfolk. Hello, Tyneside, Newcastle. Yes, love Newcastle. I do, I do plan to go to Newcastle at some point. Uh, and if any of you are from Ireland, this is kind of a belated St. Patrick's Day special edition because obviously episode 400 is just around the corner. I plan to put that out this week, but now it's going to go out. It might go out the end of this week, but most likely it will be next week. Um, I will say what is coming in episode 400 in a second as well. And to anybody that did watch last week, Keep your mouths closed. Don't spoil it for anybody who doesn't know it's coming in episode 400 just yet. Um, but yes, welcome everybody to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. Hello, Nathan. How are you today? Oh, absolutely love it, Diana. Absolutely love that you're keeping that accent. I do love, uh, I do love regional accents. I did it at uni for my dissertation. Absolutely love, love, love regional accents. Don't lose it. Be proud of it. I certainly am. Never going to lose this. Uh, Wolverhampton, West Midlands, black country accent. Brummie, some people like to call it, but it is a black country accent. Absolutely proud to have it. Yes. I don't know about that, Jerry, but uh, thank you very much either way. Um Yes, we've got over 40 people in the room already. I sure I was considering to do 400 scratch cards for episode 400, but because it isn't like episode 500, it's not a real real uh, milestone, let's say. I'm not going that far this time. Yes, uh, welcome everybody to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. I've got £70 worth of Scratch Cards for you today. It's completely identical to last week. The only difference is this one is going to stay on YouTube afterwards for anybody that does miss the episode, for anybody that can't make it right now, absolutely live. It's just gone 10 past 8 on this Monday, the 8th of April here in the UK. Uh, and Jonathan Boyd, my other mo moderator, has just turned up. Hello to you, Jonathan, as well. Again, much appreciated sparing some of your time to be here. Um, but hopefully both of you, Tom and Jonathan, do enjoy watching uh, some scratch cards being done absolutely live. Anything could happen. I could win absolutely nothing back today out of £70. I could perhaps hit the jackpot on one of these scratch cards as well. You never know, dear. That's the exciting thing when it's live. Anything can happen. I could... Uh, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, actually. But uh, uh, anything could happen. Absolutely live. Yes. Right. Shall I introduce tonight's scratch cards? Well, if you were here last week, you'll know what's coming. But if not, it's kind of... Uh, Kind of a, a bit of a theme with regards to the first £50 worth of scratch cards. They are related to St. Patrick's Day, which of course was like three weeks ago, was it? This is for my Irish viewers. I hope you had some good luck on St. Patrick's Day when it was here. Um, I've got five in a row of the £5 full of 500 scratch cards. Now, the new, the brand new £500 loaded scratch card has just been... Uh, put on to the National Lottery website, along with Mega Multiplier. That's exactly identical to the Merry Millionaire Christmas scratch card that we had back at Christmas. Um, and I think there's another new scratch card as well. Yes, the two, uh, the two editions of five years for you, the £2 version and the £5 version is now 
on the National Lottery website. And there's some brand new £1 scratch cards coming your way over the next few weeks. There's a new £1 good luck scratch card. It's called Good Luck. Um, four different colours, a bit like those £100 loaded, so they've just gone out. Pretty simple £1 card. And the £1 Neon 9s is coming back, as if you remember those back in the day. They are on their way back. So, yes, that's the new scratch cards. The other £20 worth I've got for you. Once I've finished introducing these £50 worth, I've got Lucky Bonus. Again, it's green, St. Patrick's Day themed. We've got the Lucky Hat to find in the bonus game on this Lucky Bonus. Again, a four-leaf clover. Absolutely St. Patrick's Day related. And five of these uh, lucky drops all in a row. Now, these full of 500s were the last five scratch cards in the dispenser. Uh, so, was it right? Was it a, a coincidence that they had five and I wanted five and they only had five left? Well, we'll find out later on in a bit, won't we? Oh, let's take a look at the comments. Oh, Susan is from Aberdeen. Yes, a regular viewer. Thank you so, so much once again, Susan, for coming along. Much appreciated the support, everybody. Over 50 of you now in the room. As always, any likes, subscribes, comments, if you are watching this afterwards, are always much appreciated as ever. Can't express how much that means. Uh, yes, very, very much appreciated. Hello, Heather. Welcome to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. You're watching with Mick in Sunderland. Welcome, both of you. Um, Diana, your fella is from Sutton Coalfield. Absolutely, yes. Brummy and proud. That's the way to be. Absolutely. Um Yes, I do remember the £1 Neon 9s. Was it eight years ago? Wowzers, I didn't think it was that long ago. But yes, they are coming back. Not just yet. Uh, we've only just had some new cards released today. As I've said, £500 loaded. Um, five years for you, the £2 and £5 versions. Mega Multiplier, a £5 card. Exactly identical to the Merry Millionaire. Right. Any other... Any other things I need to uh, look at? Oh, Jonathan, you saw me on the television advert. That's fantastic. I can't say what advert it is on YouTube. I don't advertise these things. Um, but uh, it is being repeated. It's not a one-time only thing. It is going to be on telly, the main channels, ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5, any channel that's got uh, advertisements on them. If you haven't seen it, you probably will have seen it. Uh, at, well, by the time the next four or five weeks have gone by. So listen out for a familiar voice. Anybody that does know me, look out for a familiar face. It's only a couple of seconds, but that I promise you that's all it has needed because I've had so many people coming up to me since it's gone out. And it was only Friday, only two, three days ago. Literally, it's been absolutely crazy the amount of people that have stopped me uh, uh, and... Uh, had a chat it really is uh it's really great it's a great feeling put it that way so yes if it's if just a couple of seconds can do that and people notice you wow says what does a full hour do well i might experience that one day we'll see what happens won't we yes i do look out for the advert it is on telly now um just listen for the brummy accent basically listen for this listen to what you're listening to now Hello, Kirsty. Welcome to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. Um, I might uh, write in the comments at the end of the video what advert it is. So in the chat, stay in the chat afterwards. Remind me before we finish, I'll write it in the chat of the, uh, the comments, the chat room that we're in now. I'll tell you which advert it is, but actually physically telling you on the live episode, I can't advertise. Hello, Charlie. Welcome from North Lanarkshire in Scotland. Lovely to see you here. Lovely to see all of you here, of course. Uh, but it's so nice to see so many of you here this week. There's, loud, there's quite a few more of you here this week than last week. So, yes, it is a special edition live episode tonight. 
I've introduced the £50 worth. These are all in a row, kind of St. Patrick's Day related. Of course, it was three weeks ago. Um, it was Easter last week, Bank Holiday Monday. Um, but because it's a live episode, I've got to do a variety of scratch cards as well. So I've got to cater for both sides. Some of you like seeing scratch cards in a row. Some of you prefer uh, a variety of scratch cards. So I've got them for you today as well. The latest scratch cards to come out from the National Lottery, not including those that have come out today. I'm not Superman. Um, but what are they? Well, Snack Stack is the first, a £5-pounder. Super 7s has made a comeback. It's been a while, but finally bought it back, so it's nice to see this. Luxury Lions is an updated version of the classic completing lines horizontally or vertically to win the prize. Multiplier element. Dual Bingo has uh, replaced the uh, Crazy Bingo scratch card back to the original design, original gameplay, four different cards, looking for rows, columns, diagonals, and uh, four corners to win the prize, finding that diamond dual symbol in any completed line or column. Wins double the prize, crossed fingers in the bonus. And then we, of course, go on to my all-time favourites, which have now changed colour. Now in the colour of orange. The prizes have been updated on this, of course. There's no longer a £4 prize, no longer a £40 prize, no longer a £200 prize. But there is a £50 prize and a £500 prize and a £50,000 prize. So there's a lot to play for with these. Not sure I'd have uh, put over two million ten pound prizes to be won on this card. I know Tom said that, my moderator, before. I didn't even notice that at first. But ten pound prizes, really? You want to be advertising over two million hundred pound prizes or above? So yes, that's another well newer scratch card. Pick and pairs is the other one. And to round it up to the £20 worth of the newest scratch cards, not including those that have come out today, Tropical Line. So there's a big variety for you tonight, £70 worth. Fingers crossed I can have some luck today. You didn't miss too much last week if you were here, I promise. If you weren't here either, you didn't miss much, I promise you. So fingers crossed, tonight is going to be the night. So we want lots of positivity in the room. And of course, I need to get the formalities out of the way before we start scratching. I've got my two most trusted viewers, my moderators here in the room today. They aren't viewers, they are really, really great friends. Jonathan Boyd, Tom Hayward, my two moderators are here to make sure everybody is uh, being kind and friendly, behaving themselves, not causing a nuisance. There's too much negativity in this world. We don't need any of that in this room tonight so a massive massive thank you to both of you two as always for uh sparing some of your time to be here to moderate the chat and of course you must be aged 18 or over to play all national lottery games i don't promote underage gambling at all whatsoever i can't stop anybody under 18 watching these episodes but of course, that isn't illegal. However, underage gambling is, so don't do it if you're under 18. Um, and any of you that are perhaps concerned about playing too much, details of Gamcare are on the back of all scratch cards. So if you are concerned about playing too much, whether that be scratch cards, lottery, whether it's slots, whether it's casinos, whether it's bookies, any form of gambling whatsoever, Give Gamcare a call. They are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's free to call as well. You can call anonymously 0808 8020 133. That's 0808 8020 133. So, yes, that is Gamcare. Right, I think we're about to uh, ready to get scratching, aren't we? So, there's over 60 of you in the room. It'll be lovely to get to that 100 mark. Um, obviously I've said it already, it's a special edition episode today, live episode, it's just gone 20 past 8 on this Monday evening, the 8th of April here in the UK, anything could happen, 
But what is coming for episode 400? Well, it's something that I've never, ever done on my channel before. I don't like doing them. Um, I know I don't have to explain myself as to why I've decided to do this. But I thought I would because A, I've never, ever done it before. And I think because there are limits on the horizon as to the amount of scratch cards you can play, uh, like a maximum of 10 maybe per customer per day per shop, um, it is going to be a bit harder to uh, do this sort of thing in the future. And I don't like doing it, but I thought I would do it because if I don't do it and these limits come in, then I would regret it. And this is a scratch card channel uh, predominantly. So I thought I've got to do this at least once before any sort of limits do come into force. It is my first ever full pack. My first ever full pack of scratch cards. Now, I'll say it again. I don't like doing these. I've seen results of full packs before. They are very predictable. You can pretty much guarantee you'll get around half your money back from a typical pack. Of course, there are bigger prizes in there mixed about. Um, but they're, of course, few and far between. The majority of packs, average packs, around half your money back. So they are predictable, which I don't like. Um, but as I said, I've never, ever done it before on my channel. And I think I would regret it if I didn't do it at least once on my channel. So I'm sure you will all forgive me for doing this at least once on my channel. So uh, I can tick that off the list then. I can say, yes, I've done it. I've done one of those. I've done a pack. And uh, of course, it had to be my all-time favourites. The 250,000 in orange, £240 worth, 120 cards, all activated, all ready to go, still in the cellophane. So that is what is coming for episode 400. So please look forward to that. Um, I'm sure you'll appreciate the reasons I have decided to do a full pack. It's not because I'm lazy. You know I like doing full pack equivalents. You know I like doing a huge variety of scratch cards. But I thought, I've got to do it at least once before any sort of limits do come into force so yes it is a full pack for episode 400 and it had to be my all-time favorites right over 70 of you in the room now if you haven't done so already please give this video a like it's much much appreciated yes i've had this full pack now about three weeks i had it since these scratch cards were first published on the national lottery website they were in the kiosk where i work um so i bought it Yes, they are. I didn't activate the pack. I got somebody else to do that because I'm not uh, I'm not messing about uh, being uh, accused of anything, you know, untoward. So I got somebody else to do that for me. They activated it. They sold it to me. So it's all ready to go. Right. Okie dokie. Let's do this. Starting off with... Uh, the £2 Lucky Drop scratch cards first. We'll do the scratch cards that are all in a row first. Uh, in a drop, match the winning symbol to any of my symbols to win the prize. Um, find a rainbow to win all of the prizes shown. That would be lovely to happen on this live episode, wouldn't it? So, let's do this. Now, I cannot get staff discount on Lottery, as much as that would be... Uh, great, it is a, a concession, so uh, anything concession related, cigarettes, anything out of the uh, out of the way, let's say, spirits, yeah, I'm not that fortunate. Right, yeah, so it was £240 spent, um, so there we go. Right, let's do this, I'll try and get the scratch cards out of the glare, Kirsty, for you. Um, but of course I prefer this light. It makes it look, it'd look better with this light compared to the actual room light that I've got. So yes, you'd see the difference. I'm not going to, uh, 
I'm not going to showcase the two varieties of light for you today, but I promise you this is the best one. So let's have a look. Uh, I can see the scratch card. It looks crystal clear on my screen. Hello, Brad. Welcome to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. Great to have you here, as is with every single person in this chat. Thanks so, so much for sparing your time, uh, for coming along and watching this episode today. So let's start this journey. Right. Yes, I had to get on the phone to uh, all win. We didn't have a delivery of scratch cards last week. I'm almost embarrassed to go and work at the kiosk where I work at the moment. Half of the dispenser is empty. We didn't get a delivery last week. So I spent about half an hour on the phone on Saturday to all win. Lovely lady on the phone she was. And we went through every window, every slot of the dispenser, going through how many packs we need to ensure that the, that the dispenser stays full until the next delivery. So we went through, we saw them coming in hopefully tomorrow, Wednesday, probably Wednesday now they'll come in. It's usually on a Wednesday, uh, but yes, I'll soon have my dispenser back up and running to its usual self. As you know, uh, there's never an empty slot at the kiosk where I work, as long as I'm there. It's always fully topped up. Um, but of course, if it isn't, then uh, there's definitely something wrong. And yes, oh, there's a new warehouse, there's a new uh, delivery operator for the scratch card. So there is still kind of some goings on behind the scenes, getting used to the new operator. But yes, right, let's do this. Let's get scratching. It's just gone, gosh, it's half past eight on this Monday, the 8th of April. I'm yet to get off the mark. 80 people in the room. Thanks so much for coming along. We're looking for a wallet on this first lucky drop. Of course, this is live. It's not pre-recorded. If it was pre-recorded, the episode would nearly be finished by now. But I do like to stay and have a chat to my viewers. I've no idea what happened, Matthew, there. Not a clue at all. So uh, I didn't even see that message, to be honest with you. Not a clue what happened there. Uh, but do stay with us. Very, very, very welcome to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. Amethyst is uh, the winning symbol on game two. There's that lucky hat for St. Patrick. Any people from Ireland, apologies, it's late. But I am thinking about, yeah, the reason I didn't do a special edition for St. Patrick's Day was because, of course, we've got episode 400 just around the corner. A roll of cash. Now rolls of cash on the scene. A chest is for uh, game four. Good evening, Chris. How are you? Welcome to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. Hopefully you've uh, bought some luck your way to the room today, Chris. Are you a lucky person, do you think? Would you consider yourself lucky? If so, feel free to spread some of that luck my way right now. That would be great. I'd be hugely grateful. Right, a money bag symbol is the last winning symbol. No rainbows about. No wallets on game one. No amethysts. No rolls, no chests, no bags. So, nothing on the first scratch card tonight. Almost 90 people in the room. It's fantastic. Let's see if we can hit that 100 mark, shall we? Let's see if we can get 100 of you in the room. I'd absolutely love it, actually, to do a live... I don't know, a live show in front of a live audience. I've done it at the Commonwealth Games. The energy, the atmosphere in front of thousands of spectators all looking at you is, of course, nerve-wracking. I, I conquered many of my fears doing that. But, wow, says, what a great feeling it is. And an even greater feeling when you've got the audience on your side cheering you on laughing with your jokes, laughing at your entertainment. Oh, it's absolutely priceless. We're starting with a wallet on drop one on the second card. I'd like to see one then, please. No, nope, no wallet, a chest. 
I am not doing the full pack live now. Absolutely not. That will be pre-recorded at some point this week and then published probably next week. Nuggets. Now Nuggets. Purse. Uh, well, Joanne, I'm glad you can't wait. I, uh, I'm i a bit nervous about it, really. Although it's kind of predictable, isn't it? The result that's going to happen, to me anyway. Um, but who knows? Who knows? It only takes the one card to change absolutely everything. Lucky Charm on the final drop for this card. Oh, and there it is on the very, very last chance. There's a... Um, Charm, what are you laughing at, uh, Kirsty? What's so funny? Come on, share it with us. <laughs> is it just me being a comedian? Is it, uh, is it something else? What do we reckon this lucky charm's going to give me? Two quid? Oh, absolutely, Jonathan. She'll be watching this video, actually. She'll be watching the video when it's done. So, uh, yes. Uh, there's no hiding from it. Not that I'd hide it anyway. Absolutely not. Um, come on then, Kirsty. What did the, the magician say to the fisherman? Jerry thinks it's £10. Jamie thinks it's a fiver. Chris thinks it's four quid. Oh, God. <laughs> I fell for that, didn't I, Kirsty? I fell for that absolutely well. There you go. There's a joke for the... Uh, there's a joke for the catalogue, any of you comedians out there. The lucky charm is giving me... Two quid. Two quid. I got it right. Jonathan got it right. Jonathan Marks. Well done, Jonathan. If it was a quarter of a million... Well, if it was 50 grand, the top prize, I'd have given you a treat out of that for being the only other person to get that guess right. Two quid. Right. At least we're off the mark, though. It's not going to be a total, total bust, a total wipeout today. Let's head on to the third. It's a top hat. Now top hats. A money bag. Oh, this is oh, this is what <laughs> two nuggets. Now the last two cards I don't think had that, did he? I don't think it did. Pound sign. A purse. Well, I found a black pearl, didn't I, in the... Uh, not last week's live episode, but it, would be, it will now technically be the last live episode I did. Not the one from last week. I don't count that now. The last one, episode 15, I actually got the Black Pearl, didn't I? For those of you that did tune in, that was pretty nice. Them very popular scratch cards, you know, those Black Pearls, Am Very, very popular indeed. Very, very good sellers. Yes. Uh, yeah. More popular than I thought they'd be. So now top hats, now uh, money bags, now pound signs, now purses, now money trees. Now black pearls in the episode tonight. Let's head on to the fourth of these lucky drops. Good evening, Lee. How are you doing? Thanks so, so much for coming along. Now you haven't missed much. You've uh, missed me having gone for half an hour. It's actually been pretty, uh, pretty good, actually. I've enjoyed chatting to the viewers today. 
100k a month for a year, Jerry. Yes, they do sell quite well. I think people are getting pretty bored of them now, to be honest, because they've been out for so long that uh, that the, they're starting to die down a bit, the popularity is. But Black Pearls are flying out. The 250,000s fly out like there's now tomorrow. We can go through a pack of those a day at the kiosk where I work. So they are obviously the most popular scratch cards. They are the base games, as the National Lottery call them. The traditional style scratch cards. A diamond. Gold key. Oh, we've got another winner. Well, we've already done better on these than we did last time, last week. We've got a winner. There is a gold key. Might well, be two pound as well. I hope not. Here's this lucky charm again. But it's not lucky for me. You found a festive fortune last week. Well, to be fair, they are still on the National Lottery website. The game hasn't closed yet. It's only once the game has closed that you have 180 days to claim the prize. And believe it or not, we get customers at the kiosk bringing literally old scratch cards, thinking they can claim prizes. So the 250,000s in pink, you can still claim prizes. However, I don't know if you remember the 20, 20, oh gosh, is it 20 years richer? Uh, I can't even remember now. It was a black scratch card. 20 years it was anyway. Something for 20 years. A £5 card it was. Somebody tried to claim a prize off one of them on Saturday. And I'm thinking, it's expired. It's expired. Uh, a purse is the last... Oh, hello, there's a purse. Oh, yes, you could be right, Jeffrey. It could be a £4 winner here. We have two wins on the card, so I can safely say it's more than two pounds. Yeah, you're absolutely fine, Jonathan, to buy festive uh, lions. The game is st it's still open. You it's not closed yet. It's only once the game's closed that you have 180 days to claim the prize. Some people kind of get mixed up with lottery tickets. It's 180 days after the draw. They think with scratch cards, you've got 180 days after you play the scratch card. Now it's 180 days after the game closes. So we know it's more than £2 because we've got two wins. We've got a gold key and we've got a purse. What do we reckon? Do you know, a tenner would... A tenor would send me to heaven at this moment. Shall we? Uh, I'll put myself out of my misery. It is. Aha, yes. I'm going to heaven. Five. And five. Ten pounds it is. Happy days. That's these two pounds scratch cards covered. Brilliant. There you have it. Can't can't focus on these live episodes, so I have to keep it down there. But you can see two fivers, fantastic. Will the last one. Lucky number seven as well. Lucky card seven. Will my favourite card number zero eight produce a win? The last of the lucky drops. Let's find out. So, the winning symbol on drop one this time is... It's a ring. A money bag. Oh, two charms. There's that hat. There's that seven.
And there's a purse again on drop five. But there's now purses uncovered there. Nothing on the final lucky drop, but to be fair, we had a tenner on the last one. So happy days there. Profit with regards to the lucky drop scratch cards. Fingers crossed we can keep this going as we head on to the three pound scratch cards next. Staying with the St. Patrick's Day theme. Easter theme, well, it is a St. Patrick's Day theme scratch card type thing. But this is a special edition live episode to catch up, really, before episode 400. Um, Easter bank holiday, spring, the clocks went forward last week, didn't they? So, yes, summer is on the way, everyone. I, I have to say, I'm not a fan of the hot weather. I don't mind it for a day or two, but then... It does get to you, doesn't it? I prefer, I do prefer winter myself, autumn. But yeah, shoot me in the foot. <laughs> I do like the occasional sunny, hot day, but I don't like to work in it, put it that way. It's all right if you're uh, in the back garden on the beach, lapping it up as you do. But if you've got to work in it, then that's a different story, isn't it? So, yeah. Right, on to these lucky bonus scratch cards now. In a game, match the winning symbol to any of my symbols to win the prize. Find one or more horseshoe symbol in uh, games one to four, across the four games, to win the corresponding prize as shown in the lucky prize table. And in the bonus game... Find that lucky top hat. I'm going to call it the St. Patrick's Day green hat to win that bonus prize. So, we're going down from card 58 to card 54. Winning symbol is, on the first card, a ring. No rings about, no horseshoes. I'm sure you'll all let me know if I miss a win. Much appreciated. No rings there, no horseshoes on game two. And the same for game three. Game four is the same as well. Now rings about, now horseshoes. Can we find the hat in the bonus box? Not on the first one, we can't. So, nothing there. On to the second. Yes, I do like to see older cards in the shop as well. I always have to buy one if there's like a really old card in the shop. I always make sure that A, it's still um, active, let's say. It's still in play. The game hasn't closed. Um, and B, that there are there is at least one top prize left on the scratch card. I mean, look at the Maze of Fortune scratch card that's just gone out. At the time... All the top prizes were still out there at the time that the new Super 7 scratch card came out. Of course, one person, one lucky ticket holder has claimed a top prize on that green maze of fortune now. But yeah, why get rid of a scratch card which has still got all the top prizes left? Right, on to the next. We're looking for a diamond on this lucky bonus. Now diamonds in sight there, game one. Or oh, horseshoes for that matter. There's that ring we wanted on the last card. Oh, hello, and there as well, just to add salt to the wound. And we don't find any diamonds there or horseshoes. Can we get the top hat? No, it's shy at the moment. It's a ruby, so nothing on the second one either. They absolutely did, yes. They absolutely did, Tom. Right, on to the next. Third time lucky. Is it going to be one of them uh, on this card again this week? 
We're looking for the rainbow. No rainbows there, no horseshoes. Let me know if I miss a horseshoe, please. But at this rate, we aren't going to get a win at all, are we? I'm guessing someone won on card 59. Right, rainbow. No rainbows in sight, no horseshoes. And it's that VIP symbol in the bonus box again. So it isn't third time lucky today on this card. Two more to go, though. We can but hope. The overall odds of winning are one in approximately 3.2. But, of course, the odds mean absolutely sod all. It's across the whole game rather than the tickets in a row. Hello, Joe. Welcome to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. Um, first time. Well, you're going to have a you're going to have a roll, aren't you, today? You're, you're in for a treat. You've made it to the live chat. Well, welcome, 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 welcome. Card number four in this set is a shooting star. Well, it's not looking great on these, is it? Looks like we needed that tenor on the lucky drop. Um... Wowzers. Oh, we got a top hat, so it's not going to be a total bust on these lucky bonus scratch cards. So that's a bit of a relief. Um, nothing worse is it than buying five cards and losing on all five. Um, it's even worse if you have two pound cards and you get ten losers in a row because you know for a fact that the next card is guaranteed to win. Uh, but we have found the top hat in the bonus. Is it going to be a £3 bonus? Is it going to be a £30 bonus? What do we think? I'd love a tenner. Absolutely, Jonathan, yes. Uh, just leave them out till all the top prizes are gone. Make life a whole lot easier, wouldn't it? Right, we've got a top hat... Some people are saying a five. Some are saying a tenner. I hope it's a tenner myself. I think it's going to be three pounds. But what do I know? Where's the pound sign? Oh, the pound sign's there. The little zero's there. Is it three quid? It's three quid. Yes, it is. Just as I thought. But it all adds up. At least all... Five cards, not total losers. Uh, yes, right. We've got one more to go as well. Can we get two wins in a row? Let's find out. Necklace. Oh, dear. Well, this was a pretty shocking uh, set of five, wasn't it? <laughs> but we've got to go through these. We've got to do it. It's got to happen. You can't expect to win all the time. Absolutely not. But that was absolutely shocking, wasn't it, really? Uh, not as shocking as it could have been. But no necklaces about there or horseshoes. No bonus. So nothing on that. Right, it's on to the £5 scratch cards now. This is where I'd absolutely love to get a jackpot. Absolutely live. £500 win. Wowzers, what? What a reaction that would be. We've just hit 100 people in the room. Thank you so, so much. It's just gone 10 to 9 on this Monday evening, the 8th of April here in the UK. 100 of you in the room. Thanks so, so much. For coming along of course any likes subscribes comments if you are watching afterwards um much much appreciated really really much appreciated um 
But yes, we've got the last five of these full of 500s, actually, from the dispenser. We're about to find out if it was a coincidence that the shop I went to had five. I only wanted five that I only got five. So let's take a look, shall we? Um, match the winning number. There's only one of them, of course, on this card. To any of my 40 numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, to win the prize, find a money bag symbol to win double the prize, shall we? Or find a diamond to win all of the prizes. That would, even getting that diamond, to be honest with you, you know, what, what excitement would come into the room if that were to happen live? So, let's make it happen. Right, I'm going to make sure this looks good in view first, because I know I'm not going to fit the whole card in. So there we go. Let's move it forward. We need to discover the winning number first, uh, which on the first card is 32. Does anybody have any feelings about 32? Is it their lucky number? Is it just another number? <laughs> 32. Yeah. Not really a number for me, but let's have a look. So none of these other numbers mean anything at all. Remember 32. I've had to get it out of shot to fit the card in. But we're looking for 32. Money bags. Diamond. We've yet to reveal a 30, aren't we? Look at that. No 30s at all yet. Oh, there's 31. I'm waiting for 33. Thirty-two. There's your thirty-three. Thirty-two. Money bag. Diamond. Oh, we've got a winner. The first one is a winner. Not a diamond, not a money bag, but at least it is a winning start. Not going to make me sweat throughout the whole of these five cards. Okie dokie, so we just have the one uh, 32. Of course, yes, if a second 32 have come out, then that would have been guaranteed to be at least £15 on this card because you can't get a £10 win on this scratch card by getting two £5 prizes. The only way you can win £10 on this uh, card, it's crazy, isn't it? The only way you can win £10 is by either getting one number with a straight £10 win, or a money bag doubling the fiver. So if I'd have got two numbers, like I've said in previous episodes, then that would have been a bit more exciting. It would have been at least £15. But what is this 32 worth? Just a fiver. But uh, we've got four more cards to go. That's all I'm going to say at this stage. And then, of course, we've got £20 worth of random scratch cards to do as well. So don't go uh, disappearing on me after these five cards. We have got more cards to do. The winning number on the second of these full of 500s is... But 19. Does 19 mean anything to any of you? 32 is Joe's son's age. Uh, nineteen? Anybody? Nineteen? Does it tickle your fancy? Nineteen? Um, yeah. again, it's not really one of my uh, standout numbers, but let's have a look. I hope you all enjoyed hunting for the grand. The final episode went out. Last week on Friday, a 
fabulous end to the series, I have to say. If you haven't seen it yet, go and take a look at that episode. Brilliant, brilliant finish. I couldn't have picked a better set of four cards to finish on, could I really? Um, but I shan't spoil any results to anybody that hasn't yet seen it. Hunting for the Grand. Um, if you do want me to uh, consider doing that with a £500 loaded type card, what if another full of 1,000s comes out? Oh, my days, look at that. I've just revealed a number 19. We've got two winners in a row. Okay. I didn't even realise that then. I was going on about hunting for the grand. I stopped on a number 19. How about that? Um, as I say, strange things happen. I'm a firm believer that things happen for a reason. I really do. Um, wowzers, we've got two wins in a row, okay. Please don't be another fiver, though. Be a bit more exciting for me. That, of course, means that the diamond is now null and void, as I say. It's not possible to find on this card with a number match. But wowzers, a 19. Is it going to repeat what the full of 1,000s did to me on Friday? Of course, that episode was filmed last year when those cards were still out and about. But of course, even those full of 1,000s are still available to be claimed. They're still within the 180-day claim period. The game has now closed, but you're still within the 180 days that you've got to claim Prizes. I haven't missed another 19, have I? Jabbering on. What's that prize? Ah, oh, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? But I can't believe that. I wasn't expecting a win on the uh, second card, so I weren't really concentrating. Just goes to show. Would be nice to see another 19 now, or a money bag. Oh, hello, there it is. There's a money bag. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm guaranteed a £15 win on this card. Brilliant. £25 spent on five of these, of course. £5 on the last card. A guaranteed at least 15 on this one. So the result isn't too bad at all on uh, this set of five. See how just the one thing can change everything in the click of a finger in an instant. Yes, I asked for the money bag. I'm asking for the diamond as well, but... Uh, that never seems to want to come out for me. But fantastic. We've got a number match there. 19. Money bag there for double the prize. Straight after a fiver. Two wins in a row. What are we thinking? What are we thinking for this? Let's hope it is 20 quid. Then I've got all my money back for these full of 500s. And the next three cards will be bonuses, basically. Um, although the lucky bonuses have got some making up to do. How dare they? Shall we take a look? Oh, it's a fiver there. And a fiver there. It is a £15 win. But I'm not complaining at all. I'm very, very grateful. Uh, very nice to get that money bag additionally to that 19. Fantastic. Happy days. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. And there's still three more cards to go. And who knows what might happen on the uh, next three cards. I'll, uh, if you've watched Friday's episode of Hunting for the Grand, you'll know exactly what I mean. You'll know exactly what I mean. So... Number three, the card, the third card I'm scratching, card zero, two, the last five cards in the dispenser, 
We've got 105 people in the room. Absolute perfection. I love each and every one of you. 34. Now, does 34 mean anything to anybody? None of the other two numbers have stood out yet. But, having said that, the other two numbers have actually produced wins, haven't they? So, it's not always your lucky numbers that are going to put out the bag. 34 is what we're looking for on this. Could it actually be three wins in a row? Definitely not impossible. But we are stretching and pushing that look, aren't we? To think that we could get a third win in a row. Oh, there's 33. I am expecting a loser. Imminently. Every time I see a three now, I take a little breath. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, just, just throw out the numbers. Just throw out any old number. Looking for 34 on this one. Was that a typo, Tom? Or did you actually mean to say 35? <gasps> Looking for 34 on this one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Has 35 come out on this card by any chance? Just out of uh, curiosity. Not yet, but it's bound to. And then for Tom, we're going to see how much that 35 is worth. <laughs> yes, absolutely, Tom, yes. We're going to see what 35 is worth when it comes out, because it's bound to come out, isn't it? 35... Bound to come out. And I'm getting tangled up in these losing scratch cards. Where's 35? We got 53 the other way round. Oh. <gasps> Do let me know if I'll miss a win, by the way. I'm looking for 35 now. Not, th <laughs> not 34. There's your 35, Tom. Um... I'd preferably like, preferably like to see a 34 or a money bag or a diamond. But I suppose I'll let this one off, being as the last two cards were winners. Gosh, where am I going here? All the possible 30s you can imagine, apart from 34. Okie dokie for Tom. Oh, that would have been incredible, wouldn't it? Look at that. £100. Oh, and... Jackpot for the one next door the other way as well. Just to just to rub it in. <laughs> the two biggest prizes, of course. There you go. Uh, I haven't won 500. I haven't won 100. Um, and there's now 34. There's a 24 and a 54. There's a 14. There's even a 44. Number four, but now 34. Right. Two more of these to go. We'll accept that one as a loser because the last two have been very kind. And, of course, you have to show your appreciations to the winners. Respect the winners because you never know. Right. Card zero, one and zero, zero to go. There were the last two in the dispenser. Then we shall move on to the... Random £20 worth of cards. The winning number on this one is... Number 30. I'm 30 next year. So that does... Uh, uh, you know, that's the biggest bell ring for me at the moment. Well, massive, massive congratulations, Jamie, on your jackpot win. 500 quid, not a million. But yes, nonetheless, congratulations. I've yet to hit that milestone. But yes, number 30 is what we're looking for on this one. Another 30. Will it come out? Well, let's uh, scratch and find out. 
We've got 40. That's kind of got a roundness to it, that 36. Very cheeky. Trying to lure me in. There's your 35 again, Tom, and 33. Huh. I shan't bother scratching the prize off for 35 this time. We don't want to get too boring, do we? Right, we need number 30 to come out. A money bag. And I keep saying it, it never happens. The diamond. There's 34 that I wanted on the last card. I think I'll scratch the prize to that 34 off in a second to see what that's worth. I shouldn't do it to myself, should I? I'm just asking for it, aren't I, really? I do it to myself. I bring it up on myself to uh, wind myself up. Should I have left the last three cards in the dispenser? Well, certainly the first two of the last three. Right, 34. Of course, I was going to say, I thought it was 500 then, 50 quid. Not so bad, not so bad, but still, it would have been very nice. Right, we've had two winners. We've now had two losers. The overall odds are approximately 1 in 3.08, so technically this should be a loser. But will it? Let's have a look. Either way, it's not too bad. £20 back out of £25 on these cards. Very, very respectable. Could have had five losers. Both the twos. It's two little ducks at bingo. Uh, any of you play bingo? Anybody in the room? Two little ducks. 22. Both the twos. This isn't a bingo scratch card, though. We'll go to bingo when we get to the dual bingo scratch card. Right. 22. Just throw out a diamond and be done with it. Oh, it's a winner. Top row, yes. Three out of the five cards, winners. Even if it's a fiver, I've got all my money back. So, yes, I should have bought all the five scratch cards. Uh, it's your number, Andrew. So, what does 30 mean? Oh, is it 22 or 20, 30? I didn't ask, did I? What's 22 to anybody? 10 past 9. Yes, it is just gone 10 past 9. Obviously, there's a bit of a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a lapse, a bit of a... Oh, what's, what's the word between the live... You seeing what I say and me saying it, basically. There's a bit of lag between what I say and then what you hear on your screen. So, yes, when I speak, it is ten past nine. When you hear me say ten past nine, it's probably a bit later, but hopefully not too later. 22 on the top row. The diamond has gone again, but, of course, it is still possible to get a money bag. Another 22 would be nice. Oh, the 20s are teasing. But at least we've got at least one win on the final card of this uh, set of five in a row. The last five in the dispenser, which is a pretty good set of five. Even if it is, money back. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, 21. Ah, oh, together. 21 and 23. How dare you. Okie dokie. 32, 33, 34. Right, down to the last row. And then we move on to some random newer scratch cards just the one match card zero zero the display card it was you had to specifically open the door to the dispenser drag it out just for me <laughs> was it worth it 
not really, but yes, it was because that's another fiver, isn't it? So yeah, five quid, all money back covered for the five pound cards. Absolutely fantastic. Out of the fifty pounds worth on this section of the live episode, there's more to go. Don't go away just yet. I got back twenty five, thirty five. £40. That's very, very good. Very respectable, isn't it? A lot better than last week at the moment, put it that way. So, uh, and that's even before we've started the the uh, random card. So, yeah, very, very good position at the moment. So, I'm happy so far. Right. Uh, well, at least I've got over half my money back tonight, regardless of what these... Uh, uh, other cards do now. We're going to head on to some random ones. So for those of you that prefer me to do random ones, this is for you. I thought I'd do the latest cards because scratch cards from the National Lottery has been few and far between because of episode 400. The money that would have been spent on those episodes has gone towards this full pack of 250,000 that are coming your way in the next week, hopefully, not certainly, but hopefully. Um, but yes, my first ever full pack. I'm doing it because, A, if any of these limits come into force later in the year, it'll be harder to get this many cards. And B, because I've never done a full pack. And if I never do a full pack, I'll probably regret it. But at least I can now say and tick it off my box. Uh, I'm not going to say it's a bucket list. It's not really a bucket list. But with regards to the episodes, you get me. I can now tick it off the list to say, yes, I've done that. I've done a full pack. Blah, blah, blah. The amount of courage that went into getting this full pack is unbelievable. It is unreal. Weeks and weeks and weeks I spent humming and hawing. Do I do this full pack or not? plucking up that courage to go into the shop to purchase the full pack. The person that sold me the pack fully understands why I've done it. Um, and they will be watching this video as well. So that's even more special, really, because the person that sold me the pack will actually get to see the outcome. And they'll actually get to see how lucky they were in selling me the pack. Although I selected the pack, um, I did indeed, Tom. Yes, uh, I couldn't. I just couldn't bring myself to go anywhere else to get it. To be fair, um, they sold. They activate. I let them do it behind the counter. I don't mess about with them. If I'm going to buy, certainly a pack. I let them do it. Let them uh, activate it. Sign it off. Give it to me. Sell it to me. Not give it to me. <laughs> I do I bought it, of course. Two hundred and forty pounds. Um, but yes, there you go. Right, Tropical Lines is first on the list of these random scratch cards. Not a huge fan of this one myself, not this play style. But we have to give every scratch card a try, don't we? So, um, well, that's that's very believable, the uh, Shauner, actually. It wouldn't surprise me. I haven't looked into the game metrics, but there's now £4 price, so they are actually going to be... More fivers about, more two pounders about, but we'll see, won't we? You'll see episode 400, right? So, on this game, in a line, uh, find three symbols in the same order as displayed in this prize table to win the corresponding prize. So, we're looking for combinations of pineapples and coins. And if that's anything to go by, <laughs> well, we've got no chance. No pineapples or coins in sight there. There's a pineapple. Two of them. One more would have been the jackpot. 50 grand. Yeah, not my cup of tea. Re oh, look, there's that pineapple. Ugh, get up. Get up to line two. No, not, not a bit of me. Pineapple coin, coin, that would have been £4 had that last symbol have been a coin. If it had been a pineapple, it would have been £100. 
onto the final row line and it's nothing so nothing on the first of the random cards not a fan not a fan at all but you have to give them a go every so often next on the list is pick and pairs a very simple game really nothing too special literally in a row match two identical symbols to win the prize top prize on this is 100 quid i really really wish they'd put it up to 200 pounds for a two pound card it was when they first introduced these to two pound cards fast 200s they was um much much better 200 pound prize even the 100 pound doubler to uh, double the prize to 200 was good i liked that 100 quid for a two pound card no it's gonna be 200 really so all win if you're watching if you've got one of your spies doing some research behind the scenes um take that on board please 200 quid please for a, a pick up for a two pound scratch card uh and look at my viewers comments as well in the chat if you've got that much time on your hands to do research take it on board guys all win right because surely these guys at all win camelot have got to have come across a youtube video with scratch cards they must have seen it at some point i don't care what anyone says someone from there must have seen an episode and they must be looking at what people say about the scratch cards well this one's not doing too much either is it so nothing on the left side can the right hand side do anything No, it can't. No matches there. So, nothing on pick and pairs today. Um, nothing on that. Right, it's time for my all-time favourite. The 250,000 in orange. Um, so, exactly the same as the gold ones and the previous uh, editions. Game two, find the crossed fingers to win the prize. Game three, match the winning number, 20 of my numbers to win. Game one, the famous game, find the diamond to win the prize. Ooh, a wheel. That's a new symbol. And a crown. The winning number is... 29. 28. Of course, we're used to this now. The number's next door coming out. Number eight. Oh, and it was a quarter of a million. I do like the £500 prize, I have to say. I do like it. Can we uncover a diamond? Let's have a look. No, we can't. So nothing on my all-time favourite today. The £2 cards there, absolutely shocking. Moving on to the three pounders, and gosh, I keep forgetting I bought a bingo. I had a very nice win on one of these yesterday. Was it yesterday? Was it yesterday? Yes, yes, it was yesterday. Um, I shan't spoil the result just yet because it's in an episode. So my lips are sealed, but it was a, quite a nice win on this bingo yesterday. Um, this one's from a different place, different time, different pack. So, back to the original style now. We need to complete rows, columns, diagonals, all the four corners to win a prize. Any rows or columns completed with a dual diamond, then that wins double the prize. Uh, find the crossed fingers in the bonus box to win that prize. So, they've messed about with the... The prize is on these diagonal lines. If you look at this old edition here, a diagonal on card two was £30. It's now £40. Diagonal on card one was £20. It's now £15. The column was a five, it was £6. It's now a fiver. So they've jiggled it about a bit. But, hello. Welcome from Cyprus. Uh, welcome to Scratch Cards from the National Lottery Live. Yes, I shall definitely be going back to Blackpool at some point this year, Jerry. 
when I don't know. It'll probably be around October-ish time. Um, that's when I tend to uh, take a bit of a break from work. Uh, so, yes. Right. First number out on this dual bingo is 72. Down there. 67. Number six, gosh, one, two, three, five. Number 40, I went in November last year, I went a bit later. Number 11. Fifty seven I keep looking at the chat keep going back and forth to the chat. Uh thirty nine. Number two. Yes, Jonathan, I uh, bought you a bit of luck last time I saw you there, didn't I? Uh, I couldn't win a bloody penny on the on the machines I went on when I was with, when I saw you, and then, God, dear, I, I think I swear to God, I was your lucky charm that day, wasn't I, Jonathan? Oh wow, says Kirsty, what was your reaction when you won that? Thirty-three. So if number forty-five comes out. Then I'll win a tenner, but because there's a, a gem there, a diamond, jewel, that'll double to £20. So, come on then, 45. Number 30. twenty two, sixty nine 69 would be a respectable £3, doubled up to six pounds with that gem 22 23 number 16 i think i would be as well kirsty absolutely Yes, see, Jonathan, I'm just everybody's lucky charm. I seem to sell everybody winners, to be honest. I was doing it again on Saturday, selling winners to people. Um, but hey-ho, making people happy, I suppose. Uh, and there seem to be people that deserve it as well. Nice people that win. It's even nicer when you get that. Somebody got four numbers on the lottery and they won 140 quid. I didn't. I don't know if I sold them the ticket, but they were pretty impressed. And on the uh, on the same day, uh, somebody had cash cashed a ticket in with four numbers, and it was a roll down. So so they won a lot more than the hundred and forty quid. So I had to pay that out to them. Very very uh, very jealous I was, but very happy for them at the same time. Absolutely. Thirty six. Did I miss a sixteen? No, I didn't. Number three, do let me know if I miss a win on this. I'm sure uh, I could slip up, keep going back and forth from the chat. 56. 15 would win me a fiver. Number 70, we needed that 69. 66. Thirty-four. Look at this. Thirty-two, thirty-eight, sixty-five. Okay, so I don't think it's a winner. <laughs> uh, 
I don't think it's a winner. Did 14 come out? I have had four corners in the past. That was a long time ago for 100 quid. Uh, but uh, very nice it was. Four, four corners. Um, have I missed a win? No, definitely no winning the bank. Missed too much, I promise. Certainly not in two minutes. Uh, have I missed... Oh, I don't think I've missed a win. Surely not. That's a 79, not a 69. 14 for 100 quid. 32 for five. D -d -d 22, no, 33. Card two, 45. We were looking for that for ages. 38 for a tenner. I bet you do, Jamie. I bet you do. Um, never seems to work when I try doing that, I tell you. But uh, it is uh, quite amusing to do that. But, well, I'm not... <sighs> Uh, I don't consider myself like that very often, but uh, yeah, I bet you, I bet you like doing that. Um, I don't blame you, to be honest. Why not? Why not? You know, everybody else seems to do it around you. Why shouldn't you? Go for it, Jamie. No criticism from me whatsoever. Uh, I don't blame you. Uh, Fifteen? No, no, nothing. Well, we need to do a bit of winning on these random cards, don't we? They're letting me down here. Right. Luxury lines. E-batch. The symbols that appear twice on this E-batch are... Need to get used to them. A plane. A deck chair. What else? Got a present. And what's the other? It's a bathtub. Yes, a fancy bath. I've always wondered how uh, people with those sorts of bathtubs uh, manage to keep the water in the bath without it going everywhere. Especially if it's in a room where there's like electrics about and all that shizzle. Um, but yes, those fancy bathtubs that sit in the middle of a room. Um, yeah. Has anybody got a bathtub like that? Any of my viewers? Television is the first symbol out. The vault. A bow tie. There's the lounger, the deck chair. We only need that plane to come out to give us a win. Be nice to see early on. There's a voucher. Yes, it is a bit harder to distinguish between like the plane here. The white symbols. You watch that snowboard come out. There's a menu. A ring. Stack of coins. We need that passport. There's the red carpet. A belt. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I might get a bit carried away in the bathtub. Um, a bag. There's that snowboard I was fearful of seeing with that plane. Oh, and there's your bathtub. Perfume would give us a win. Unless that sofa decides to pop out and ruin it. A diamond. A gem. A gold watch. Look at this. Yacht. Key. Necklace or bracelet. Oh. VIP. And holidays. The palm tree. So, no win on luxury lines. Today. Hello, Kevin. Better late than never, they say. Uh, yeah, we've had a bit of luck today, yeah. You can rewind and watch from the beginning if you like. Um, although I am aware we've gone well over the time I wanted to be here till. But hey-ho, these things happen. 
Uh, thanks for staying with me, those of you that have been here since the start, by the way. Much appreciated. Don't forget to give this video a like. It's much appreciated. Um, yeah, now look on this uh, luxury lines. Two planes remain. Two deck chairs remain. Two presents remain. Uh, the two deck chairs came out, sorry, they didn't stay they went <laughs> and the two bathtubs went as well so nothing on that right two more cards to go everyone first of which is the super sevens we need to complete all of the numbers within a seven to win the prize for that game so the numbers are tiny you might need your glasses your magnifying glasses for this look at this there you go there's your first winning number is uh well my number's 25 Down there. 21. At least all the numbers do actually appear at least once on this card. Unlike the, uh, what was it called? Oh, I can't remember what it was called. The recent editions of numbered games. That bingo one, that crazy bingo. Number four. Number 40. They are too small. Yes, they are. 47. Oh, look at all this space and the numbers are tiny. 47. 47. Thirteen. Number ten. Twenty-two. Thirty-two. Right. Forty-four. There we go. There's a number that appears more than once. 34. So if 43 comes out, we'll have a winner. 34. Number 12. 55. You can guarantee that 29 will come out. 26. Number 2 would give us a winner. 33, as would 49. There's another 33. Oh, 48 comes out. <laughs> Look at that, two 23s, is he? No, that's just me. Number 50. Right. Well, we're not doing very well on these random cards, are we? Absolutely not. Absolutely shocking. Um, right. Did I miss a number? Not that you can see the numbers looking... Uh, <laughs> that's small. 43. 13. 33. Now 43. 49. We have... Now 49, another 43, it was two 43s, not two 23s. Number two, two uh, 12, 22, 32, now two 23. No. Well, that was shocking. Can the snack stack save it for us? There is a £30 prize on here. That's not going to happen tonight, surely not. Right, we need to, literally on this game, it's exactly the same as the Gold Fever scratch card that was out a couple of years ago, was it? A lot less £5,000 prizes on this game than what there was on that Gold Fever. Um, the symbols on here change per scratch card, so it's not always going to be the skewers for a fiver. It's not always going to be the sushi for a million pounds. We need to complete all of the numbers in a game to reveal a whole symbol and we win the prize associated with that symbol 
for that completed game, if we get all the numbers in that game, according to the prize table. So, first number out is 29, right down here. It's part of an apple. 31, keep coming then, I'll take a tenner. We could do with it. 24. 16. 22. That's the skewer. Or uh, kebabs. For a fiver. Number 11. Oh, so is that another apple? It looks like it. That's me tenor out the window. Not completely, but most probably. 14 and 33. Oh my days, is that another apple? Oh. 23. 21 for a fiver. Number 4. 28. Number 7. Number 8. 17, 27, 32, number 2, number 10, too many apples, 26, oh, sushi, last chance, 25 for a million, Number five. Well, that was a disappointing end, wasn't it, everyone? So, absolutely nothing back out of those £20 worth of scratch cards. Absolutely awful, but it just goes to show. Um, right place, right time. That would have been a bust if it was a traditional scratch cards from the National Lottery episode, but thankfully, I got 40 quid back today out of the £70 spent, so it's not too bad. I thought I might have got a win on one of those random cards at least, but if it's not meant to be, it's not went to be. At least we did better than last week, put it that way. Full of 500s, very impressive. Been good cards to me, to be honest. Uh, let's just confirm that we've got 15, 20, 25, 35, yeah. 40 quid so there you go uh yeah 40 pounds so yeah not not too bad at all really i'm glad it wasn't a bust um uh yes uh don't forget to keep an eye out on telly if you're watching the adverts listen out for a familiar voice stay in the chat to discover exactly which advert it is and then you might get a clue as to what my face is like. Any of those of you that have ever wondered what my uh, wonderful, I'm not going to say wonderful, oh, wonderful face, you might, <laughs> I might turn you all off actually. But there's a reason for not giving my face on YouTube because of the work I do, uh, trying to get through those doors, over those barriers. It's taking time which it will do because I'm not related to anybody in television that can give me a job like that. Uh, I have to do it the hard way around and the hard way around, I will do it. And uh, no one will get in my way, put it that way. So, yes, thank you so, so much for everybody that did come along tonight. Don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Welcome. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Comment if you're watching afterwards. And the next episode you'll see will be the big one, episode 400, which is going to feature my first ever, it might be my last ever, you never know, it's definitely my first ever full pack. Not a full pack equivalent, it is a full pack of my all-time favourites. Here they are, sealed, activated, ready to go, in the cellophane. Of my all-time favourite, 250,000s in orange. So, look out for that. Thanks so much again to Tom and Jonathan for a fantastic job, as always, moderating the chat. Everybody's been fantastic in the chat again today. We never really have any issues with 
uh, people in the chat room. So thanks ever so much for that. It's much appreciated. Um, yes. And I'll look forward to seeing you all again for the big one. I don't know when I'm going to record it yet. Probably uh, I'm thinking I'll record it on Wednesday and then it'll probably go out next week. But that's not a certainty. Um, but yes, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens, won't we? We'll see what uh, what's around the corner. We never know what's around the corner, do we? So I'm just trying, trying to type in the chat at the same time as, um, uh, as talking to you to finish and conclude this episode. Um, but yes, thank you so, so much for the support. I can't tell you how much it means. I wouldn't be doing a full pack of scratch cards if it wasn't for your support and the revenue that this channel generates. Always, always bear in mind that this channel does generate revenue. So the losses that you see in front of you when I do get them are not as bad as what it would be if it was everybody else just going to a shop, buying lots of scratch cards, scratching them off, and there is your result. I do get a bit of a... Uh, well, I say a bit, quite a lot of revenue thanks to your support, which is uh, much appreciated. And to show how much I appreciate your support, I do try and do um, special episodes without, <laughs> without punishing myself too much, but to try and give some entertainment back to you as a thank you for your support. So, yes, thanks ever so much. It's beyond appreciated. Uh, and that's all I need, really. People that are supporting me, and that's what keeps me going. So, yes, thank you so, so much for watching. Take care. Good night.